Well, here we are with day two of our Sainsbury's Shopathon. Thank you very much for 18 quid's worth of free shopping. We've done the breakfast, but we've saved sparing you. Oh, here we are again eating a bowl of cornflakes. A bowl of cornflakes. So day two dinner time is the baked potatoes. We did get a tin of beans out of our 18 pound budget. But we're going to be brutally honest, we are stealing some of the spread and cheese from the £60, 60 pound of shopping that we had to buy. Just to spare us up the spuds. <laughs> because a jacket potato and beans on its own isn't that exciting. It's very healthy. So we're being honest before anybody goes, oh, hold on a minute. We're looking at them reviewing that and they've got cheese on that. What are they doing? We've done it. <laughs> We've been honest. It is um, what it is. <laughs> complain to the management if you want to, but there we go. We're going to cook these in the microwave, and the plan is to sort of finish them off for a few minutes fire. after in the air fryer, just to crisp them up a bit, so they're not as rubbery and bland and whatever else. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, Do you normally eat rubbery spuds? I don't like rubbery spuds. For me, the best part of a jacket potato is the jacket. Yeah, I prefer the potato. Because that, that's where all because the fibre sure, is. You know, that's where the fibre is. And that's where, for me, the good part is. But not if it's rubbery. A slimy spud skin. Don't cut it for it, you. It, yeah, it does not really do much for me at all. I'm not so fussed. <laughs> cost wise these were 65 65 pence for four these were 27 uh, 27 pence for a tin of beans do you remember when no frills quick save were doing them for three pence a can yeah but shane how and there was a, years ago was that <laughs> there was a rush on wasn't there if you can remember when quick save sold cans of beans for threepence get down in the comments and I let me know i was even buying my own shopping when they were that price. Three pence. And the loaf of bread, I think, was at a similar price as well. There was a rush on in there. I had never seen so many people in Quicksave buying three pence tins of beans. And even coming towards the end, you remember, they had to limit you. Because <laughs> <laughs> people were coming in. I'll have a tray. Well, I'm not surprised. A three B. A tin. Come on. What's ever happened to them good old days? Big up Quicksave. Where's it gone? Right. Do we know how much the spread and cheese was? Or are we going to accumulative price? We'll do an accumulative price <coughs> at the end. <coughs> That's because you're excited about I'm quick excited save. about quick save. <laughs> three pence tins of beans. Um, a cumulative price. I don't even think that's the right way to say no. it. We're going to put total price. <laughs> total price per head is going to be about a pound. Yeah. Because we worked out 60 of something pence per spud and beans. Add in a bit for the cheese. It depends, obviously, how extravagant you are for the cheese. If you go in, have half a block, yeah. If you're going bold, then it's probably going to be a bit more than a pound a head. <laughs> we'll bring you back when they're done. So cooking times, Lisa, then was? 15 minutes in the microwave, followed by 10 minutes in the air fryer. Just to give them a crispy the, yeah, just give it, outer skin. Give it a bit of a bit of a poke on the top. Yeah, they have, they have crisped up, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. So there's the spuds. We've got some cheese to share, some beans, and I've got some spread. Lisa will not yeah, have the spread. I don't have spread. Now, we have served our beans up in a ramekin dish thing because our bean jug is more orange than David Dickinson. And no one needs to see that. <laughs> they don't, do they? All the bean right. jug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, let's try some of this. Let's Slap some of that. Yeah, it's soft. Definitely, definitely soft spread, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, it lives up to that. At least I ain't got all toast crumbs in yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> Not be long, though, will it? No. So, yeah, so we're going to add on our cheese. There we go. After you. Yeah, thanks. You've already got butter. Well, I picked the plate up. Oh, we've lost oh. one. <laughs> We've lost Beans one already. Out. Go on. Get some beans. Try 
trying to keep my top out of all the beans as well. <laughs> I've managed it. It's the wrong colour, isn't it? They've cooked okay. Yeah, it's the first time we've ever tried them in the air fryer, isn't it? Yeah, following up with the air fryer, yeah. Yeah. I think it's added that crisp to it that you don't normally get if you just microwave them. We normally microwave them, then oven cook mm. them, don't we? Yeah, it cuts down the time, doesn't it, quite a lot. Yeah. Now, they're not bad. I mean, in terms of healthy, there's obviously no added anything extras yeah there's no added anything other than what we've put on the top um we obviously have got the beans we've got a bit of cheese in there i don't think it's exciting enough to make our top 10 pings that's for spot, sure it is only a jacket spot but it's probably a good priced lunch and it's warm and filling mm. isn't it because the cold winter months come in when you think at a one pound price point before you've just got one of those a one pound ready meal to share yeah which isn't a lot which is normally a meal for one and but we were sharing it they're always a meal for one yeah, yeah. Mm. but i don't think I don't think they can beat this in terms of the added stuff that they've got. Mm. The preservatives, the salt, the sugar and all those other things. Yeah, because this is just the spud, isn't it? That's added on. I think we've wrapped this one up. Yeah. So overall, it's a good dinner. It is a good dinner. Hot, healthy, About a pound a go yeah. if you've added the cheese. Yeah. It's not too bad. Tea time is? Sausages. Sausages. And? Baby potatoes and carrots. Yeah. Sausages, bacon, potatoes and carrots for no, tea baby time. baby potatoes, not, oh. bacon, not bacon potatoes. Baby. Sausages, baby potatoes and carrots. carrots. We'll bring you back at tea time on day two. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> day two. <laughs> tea time or dinner. We've got these baby potatoes that we're going to try in the air fryer. These were... Eight pence. Eight pence. We have got these sausages, which were... Two pound fifteen. So these are the peppery one. Six Cumberland sausages from the Taste the Different range. They were, have we done the price of them? £2.15. £2.15. When we looked at the reviews of them, they weren't that good. So, be we'll interesting you know. to taste them and see what happens. And we got a bag of the Stamford Street carrots, and these were... 40p. So the plan with all of this then is, these in the air fryer. Yep, sausages in the oven, carrots in the pan. I know we rusting up a bit of gravy or something. Oh yeah, we'll have some gravy. And rustle yeah. up some gravy as well. We'll take you through the cooking. Yep. Which you should see now. Right, our plan with these is, we've stuck them in the air fryer drawer. We are going to spray some of this fry light on it. Try and get a good coat in of them. Good job, it's only one calorie per spray. <laughs> I'm uh, pleased to see your sarcasm is with us, Lisa. It is, always. Let's have it. I'm going to grind some of this salt on. Be a master chef next year, couldn't you? Hey, stand aside, Jamie. <laughs> He's not on master chef. <laughs> not be laughing when I get a moped. And uh, if we've got enough, we we'll go for some of this pepper as well. I think we need some more of this, Lisa. I think we do, don't we? Yeah.
And back in the air fryer. There's Lisa preparing the carrots. Look at what Lisa's just found in the Stamford Street carrots. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's like something else, that. It's a bit twisted that one, isn't it? Is it? It's like <laughs> something you'd get for <laughs> summers. There's the carrots served up. And I think the star of the show is looking at these, isn't it? You're impressed with them, aren't They've you? They've come out really well. Really, can you cut one of them open? Yeah. So these have been in the air fryer at 190 for about 40 minutes, haven't they? They went in for 30 to start off with and then there was another 10 minutes after. Nice and soft. Yeah, look at them. That's the gravy. Everyone's eating with us, so we've got a selection of sausages, but that's the, if I cut them out, that's the ones that we bought with the free shopping money. So let's, let's so dish up. Yep. This comes out at about £1.67 if we was to eat the lot. I like what, but, all the sausages between? Or, yeah, the, that, that six pack of sausages between us, it would come out, and, and the whole bag of spuds. Right. It would come out at £1.67, but we're not eating everything. It's going in to do tea for everybody, everybody. complete with some extra sausages and stuff and whatever else. Let's try these. We're trying this sausage first then. Yeah. So these are quite low, low rated right. on the Sainsbury's website. Not quite sure. Why? Why? Ready? Uh-huh. I don't know why they're tasting. Yeah, I can't. There's nothing wrong with that. I can't fault that at all, can you? No. You can taste the Cumberland sausage, you can taste the spice stuff in them. Yeah. That's all right there. What's going on? Yeah, that's yeah. strange, that. It's just the thing, you just can't please everybody, can you? Yeah, should we go for some of these carrots? Mm hmm. There were some strange shapes in that carrot yeah. bag, wasn't there? They're right, bobbly, some of them. Then we had the twisted one, didn't we? Mmm. Random carrots. Well, it was like something from the Summers range, that, wasn't it? <laughs> hey? I've seen things like that on their website. <laughs> <laughs> you also seen the same for carrots. This is, uh, it's quite nice. Right, Isn't it? Actually. The carrots have cooked well. I'm going to try one of the taters now. Mm. Have you got high hopes for these? Yes. You can taste the salt on them. Mmm. They're oh, nice. Right, actually. So there was some <laughs> sea salt on. And there was some pepper. Lame. Yeah, whatever else. Oh, want. Himalayan, not sea salt. It's Himalayan, Himalayan pink salt, not sea salt. But you put can some taste salt, salt on. Yeah, yeah the I think it it's brings it nice, out. Yeah. Mm. It has brought it out quite nice, yeah. actually, that, hasn't it? So overall, it's quite a nice, quick and easy, cheap tea, really, isn't it? I think for £1.67, I think I said, didn't I? Yeah. Um, that's it. It's, it's been a great tea. Mm, I think it has. Hasn't it? Bit of a winner, isn't it? Plus the added gravy that we've just factored in, just because it's, you need a yeah, bit of gravy. It's, it's hard to cost everything into yeah. it, otherwise you're going to struggle to make but anything, aren't you? But for a few spoonfuls of gravy, yeah. it's no big deal. We've got little people waiting for their tea, so we're going to head off and eat up. See you again tomorrow. See you again tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye. This is day three of our free shopping from Sainsbury's. Thank you very much, Sainsbury's. For breakfast, it was the... Cornflakes. Cornflakes again. Not going to show you that again, because you've already seen that on day one. one. This is dinner time then, or... Lunch. Lunch. <laughs> Cream of tomato soup by Sainsbury's. And this was how much, Lisa? 67 pence. 
the prices of soups and stuff like that is creeping, creeping. up and up and up. Yeah. Now, I, I do accept it's not the price of Heinz, which is one, about one pound seventy, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot more. Sometimes it's on an offer, so many, and it works out a quid. But sixty-seven pence. Hopefully, this is going to blow our socks off. We're going to whack it in the microwave. We'll bring you back when it's ready. Tomatoes? It smells like tomatoes. <laughs> it's a bit like apple juice, wasn't it? Cheers. <laughs> yeah, it's got quite a nice smell to it, that one, yeah. hasn't it? So this was 67 pence. Yeah, Let's smells give it a like taste soup. test. That's all right, actually. It's quite nice. It's, it's quite sweet, isn't yeah. it? Do you get the sweetness coming through? You know, some of the taste of it. Ran said. Rubbish. I was going to say a bit naff. Some bit naff, aren't we? This is all right. Yeah. It's quite thick as well, isn't it? Mm. It's not. It's not super runny. Some are just like orange water, aren't they? Yeah. But no, actually, this is quite nice. I think it's quite like Heinz, isn't it? <clears throat> this is quite a nice one. This, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I'm quite surprised actually. Yeah. It would have been good to have pitted this against the others when we did the tomato soup. Yeah, because we did it? those, didn't we? See how this would fare. And I suppose with it being a supermarket owned brand, you sometimes always have lower expectations, I think. Well, I don't know. I think, well. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can do. One of the things that's worthy of mention was, I think last that we didn't really say a review of last night's tea after we'd eaten it, it was a it really was good lovely. take. Those potatoes really nice. did right well. They yeah. really, really did. They were favourite. The kids had them as well. And that's a miracle. It is a miracle, isn't it? Yeah. The sausages were good as well, yeah. weren't they? They were, they I were think really tasty. They all went as well, didn't they? For the cost price, that was a good tea last night. Yeah, it was definitely a winner. This soup then, what are you going to rate this soup? I don't give it an eight, eight. actually, because yeah. I think it's quite nice. I'd already decided eight. Yeah, that I was think it's nice. Quite nice. Yeah. yeah. Sixty-seven not pence. Too. That's not too bad either by today's prices. Tonight's tea, meatballs, is meatballs with pasta, meatballs, pasta, garlic bread, and some tomato sauce. <laughs> tomato sauce. I thought you was referring to. The tomato no. sauce that we got caught out on. No, I'm referring to the oh, okay. tomato and hidden veg pasta sauce. Hidden veg, let's hold it up like this lot because otherwise all we get is a Yeah, blurred. so not tomato sauce, that. The okay. meat was cooked in that with pasta and so This is bread. pasta sauce, Sainsbury's own brand. Yeah. We'll bring you back at tea time. See you in a bit. Bye. <laughs> there we go. Day three. <laughs> Tea time. Day three, tea time or... Dinner time. Dinner or whatever. We have got... We have got Sainsbury's and meatballs. So this is 10% fat, 12 meatballs. Fairly average on the old traffic light system. And the ingredients is going to be meatballs. How much are these, yeah. Lisa? £2.25. £2.25 for 12. Oh. To go with that, we have got the tomato and hidden veg sauce, which was... 89p. 89 pence, that's the Sainsbury's brand. And... Fusilli. Fusilli. We got this free from Sainsbury's, but it's got Asda on the bag. Oh. Continuity ever. Well it's not this pasta. Swap it for that one. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the Sainsbury's pasta by Sainsbury's, and how much was that, Lisa? Seventy-five p. Seventy-five <laughs> pence from Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's, not from Asda. And in addition to that, we have got two garlic baguettes by Sainsbury's and how much were these? Don't test me again because they're the only ones we've got. How much were they? £1.35. It's good to be spotted. <laughs> <laughs> this should serve for yeah. 
So the total price divided by four gives you £1.35 per head. And we were just talking about this off camera, saying if you buy one of these ready meals, the cheap ones are a quid-ish, but the more expensive yeah, ones are £3.54 three pound. quid now. And there's no way I don't think any of them are ever going to compare to this. No, because that's almost the price to buy all of that. Yeah. So I think I've got another one that I've got high hopes for this. We're going to get cooking and we'll bring you back in a bit. Do you want to talk us through this then, Lisa? What's the plan of attack with these? So the plan is we're going to take the meatballs. We're just going to literally take them out of there, plonk them in there. Yeah. And dump all that on top and give it a good stir. Then whack it in the oven for about half an hour. And what temperature? Six. Which is in, what's it in real money? It's Mark 6, 200, 220. Right. 200, 220, something like that. Let me see if it tells you on here. I don't think it'll tell you on there, will it? Oh, guess it 590. But I'm going to do guess Mark 6 for about a half an hour. Right, okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, I hate these though. You can never get in them, can you? Let me find my scissors. Challenge one is getting in the meatballs. And they're all packed, aren't they? Yeah. Pesky little things don't want to come out. Yeah, whack them in. And this is the tomato and hidden veg sauce. That's the front of packed traffic light. Where's the ingredients? Oh, there you go. It's not a very big section, is it? The ingredients and the nutritional information. Okay. Yep. So now we've got our meatballs all laid out. We're gonna. <laughs> oh, it's as bad as the meatballs. Got it. That's it. We've got it. We've got the pot. That looks really yeah. rich, doesn't it? Yeah, that does, doesn't it? What does it smell like? Tomato sauce. No, it smells quite nice, actually. It's quite herby. Can you smell the hidden veg? No. No, you can just smell tomato and herbs. Do you want to sniff? Yeah, it smells like pasta sauce, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. So we're just going to pour this on top now, making sure all the meatballs are covered. We can give it a bit of a stir. That would be good to go to pop it in the oven. So we're just going to stir all this now. Allows the sauce to get in between all the meatballs. Yeah, and that's going in the oven. That's going in the oven now. Gas mark six for about 25, 30 minutes. And then we'll, we'll cook the pasta, cook the pasta up and to time. And the garlic bread. And the garlic bread yep. all the time at the same time. Yeah. See you shortly. Well. This is it, dished up, Lisa. Yep. What do you think? I think it looks all right. I think it looks really good. It smells good. It's cooked well. Now, I do have to confess, I have already had a slice of this garlic bread, and that is nice. And I don't eat garlic bread, so I haven't, and won't be. So Sainsbury's has done all right there. So I'm going to try some pasta, complete with some of the pasta sauce. We've never had this sauce before, have we? No. But I'll tell you have. what, that mm. is nice and rich. Mm. We normally have bolognese sauce, don't we? Mm. That's a really rich sauce. That's alright, isn't it? Mm. And we were talking some more, and we undervalued the price of some of the ready meals. Mm. Four pounds seventy-five for one. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. Mm. That's nearly the cost of all the ingredients to cook yeah. this for four people. Now, we did buy them reduced, reduced yellow label. Yeah. But, what's broke? You've just bust the plate. I went, my fork slipped off, my knife slipped off the meatball. That's really I'm nice and rich. That sauce is gone. Yeah, I'm going to cut mine as well. You don't want to shove it all in, it might burn you. Wow, we're going to be on fire. Hmm. We've got 
Ça va, Yannin? Yeah. Ça va, c'est bien, pas au Non, c'est OK. Mm. Ça va, c'est bien. Yeah. Ça va, c'est That cooked really nice as well because sometimes it burns, don't you? And it's yeah. soggy. It burns on the outside and it's soggy in the middle. Mm. Crunchy. I already know this is good. Yeah. This is good. So overall, I'm quite what impressed. What do you think? Mm, I'm quite impressed with that. And you can always add salad. Now. And other bits to it. Do you think there's mileage in doing this over buying ready meal stuff? Yeah, and maybe you could even go one step further and make your own sauce. Mmm. Without buying the jar. Then you're more in control. That's an interesting thought. We'll be back on that soon. So, a rating for this then from Sainsbury's. This was our free shopping, day three. Yep, tea time. Tea time. <laughs> <laughs> or dinner time. Well, or dinner time, yes. Depends what in your house. Depending whether you're... Well, is it north or south? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Anyway. I'm not sure because some of my friends call it tea time and mm. some friends call it dinner time. So I don't I've know. always called it tea time. I've always called always. it tea time. Anyway. I'd give it an eight. An eight. I'm going to say... I'm going to say actually eight and a half. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It is good. Yeah. It is good. And like I say, it's going to feed four of us. Yeah. I don't so, yeah. think you can fault that from no. saying and price wise, it was good and it's cooked nice and it's tasty. Yeah. Bit of a winner. Well done, Sainsbury's. Have you tried the Sainsbury's hidden veg sauce? Because that's what this was. Yeah, that's what it is. What's your thoughts? Let us know in the comments. And price wise, interestingly, how do you think it compares to the price of some of the ready meals now? Hmm. They're getting out of they control. They are getting expensive. Aren't they? Maybe it's back to basics. My grandma used to swear by cooking everything fresh. And on that note, <laughs> we're going to be back to basics in a video coming soon. Thanks very much for watching. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye.